These four things will change your life. Really? No, but it'll probably help. He's lying. Today, I'm gonna cover the thing that every editor needs. Friends? Nope. Who needs those when you have keyboard shortcuts? If editing is in your near future, learning these four keys will save you a lifetime down the road. And the keys I'm talking about are clip splitting, timeline zoom out, timeline zoom in, and ripple delete. Let me show you what I mean. When someone is first learning how to use DaVinci Resolve, a lot of times what they'll do is they'll have to use this toolbar to navigate their timeline. Now you might not think that takes too long, but instead if I can just use these four keys, it saves you a couple of seconds. When you compound those button clicks over and over and over for the lifetime of your career as an editor, it'll probably take you two eternities longer than to just learn these four keys. The four keys that we're gonna map are A, S, D, and F. The reason I like those four keys in particular are they're normally not mapped to something that I use regularly and I can just rest my four fingers on the home row. So let's go ahead and take a couple minutes to set these up. I have access to DaVinci Resolve, so I'm gonna walk through how to set up the keys in those programs. If you're on Final Cut or you use Windows Movie Maker, the process is gonna be the same and you can still follow along. So step one is gonna to be to open DaVinci Resolve, which I've already done. I'm gonna go up to the top left, the DaVinci Resolve menu, and I'm going to click on keyboard customization. Now, I already have my own custom keyboard layout and this is unfortunately the second time I'm recording this because OBS did me dirty. So if you don't actually wanna follow along, what I'll do is I'll leave a link in the description so that you can download the shortcuts. And then within DaVinci, what you'll need to do is go up to the top right, where these three dots are, click them, hit import preset, and then you're gonna wanna load that text file. And that'll have all the shortcuts set up already. Either way, let's go ahead and hop into the tutorial. You guys will probably have DaVinci Resolve as your default keyboard layout, which is fine. In the keyboard customization window, I'm gonna go ahead and look for the command that I wanna map to the letter A. And the first one we're looking for is split clip. So I'm gonna go to the search bar and type in split clip and there we go so you can see it's already mapped to something i'm going to go ahead and click the plus icon and i'm going to hit the a key to map it to it now you're going to see this warning pop up saying hey a is mapped to another function that's fine i never use the normal edit mode and if you want to map that to something later you can but for me i don't use it so i'm going to hit assign so you're going to see this warning icon and what that means is that there's two keys mapped to it to find that second function go up to the keyboard itself, the floating keyboard and hit A. And it'll tell you what two commands are mapped to that button. So I wanna keep split clip, but I wanna get rid of this normal edit mode. So I'm gonna click that. It'll show you where it's located on the right. And I'm going to click the X to get rid of it. You can see we no longer have that warning sign. So if I go back to split clip, now we just have it mapped to A. So the next thing that I'm gonna look for is our zoom out, and I'm gonna go ahead and type in zoom out, and you'll see that nothing shows up, but that's because we're in a specific menu in this commands window. So I'm gonna click up top to all commands. All right, and the one we're looking for is view, zoom out. And again, it's already mapped to something, but we're gonna go ahead and click that plus icon and add S to it. We're gonna get the warning again, and we're gonna go through the same process to get rid of this duplicate command. Now we're gonna walk through this exact same process for the remaining two keys. So within my search bar, I'm gonna type in zoom, and then in, it's already got two keys mapped to it. I'm gonna hit the plus icon, and I'm gonna give it D, assign, click off the S, click the D. You're gonna see that the command that's actually mapped to D is enable clip, which is something that you might find useful. And I'll show you a good key to map it to after this. But for now, click enable clip, get rid of that. And the last one we're going to look for is ripple delete. Right, now there are gonna be a bunch of categories for ripple delete. I'm looking for the one in edit and I never use shift and backspace. I'll probably just hit the delete key if I don't wanna set up a shortcut for this. So I'm gonna go ahead and get rid of shift plus backspace. I'm gonna add F. Again, it's gonna say, hey, you got something here. We're gonna go ahead and assign it regardless. Click D, click F, click match frame, get rid of that guy. So. Now we have our four keys set up and all we need to do now is save it. The bottom right, hit save. It's gonna ask you to name your preset and we can name these super duper keys. Hit okay, and you'll see the name change up the top right here. Feel free to skip ahead to see how to use these keys, but what I'm gonna do is show you how to remap the enable clip key because that is something that people use often. So I'm gonna go ahead and search for enable clip. It's gonna be here. 
And the shortcut that I'm gonna recommend is Control, Shift, and D. Now we can go ahead and close this menu. We have our keys set up. So let me show you how to use these. I went ahead and flipped my webcam around so that you guys can actually see where my fingers are. You'll notice that they never leave this home row. So when I'm trying to gauge where I'm at in the edit or game perspective as to how long the clip is, all I do is I'll hit S to zoom out. And then if I wanna jump forward, I can click my playhead and then it will zoom in to the playhead. I find this very useful for when I want to navigate around the timeline, which is a lot nicer than having to go and drag your slider to figure out where you're at and how big the clip is. So the next thing that I'm gonna show you how to do is how to actually cut a clip. And a lot of people when they're first learning will use the blade tool, or I believe the default shortcut is control and B. Instead, if I wanna split this clip right here, all I have to do is hit A. We have our clip split. And now if I wanna get rid of this first section of the clip, all I have to do is hit F. You'll see that ripple deletes that section. I'm gonna hit Control Z here real quick. Now you could also choose to map the F key to what backspace is, which is your normal delete. But what I find is when I'm going through and I am editing, I end up wanting to collapse things together more than anything. Obviously there are more shortcuts and more functions that you'll need to use while you're editing, but you would be surprised how much time you'll save and how much more efficient you'll feel after you set these up. Now this might feel cumbersome at first, but I promise you, if you sit down and give this a go for a project or two, once you incorporate it into your editing workflow, it's gonna feel so much better to go about doing these longer projects. Hopefully you found this useful and let me know if you have your own keyboard shortcuts that you like to use. I appreciate y'all and I will see you guys next time. Peace.